Hi guys, another little gem out of my stock. Silver lit, radio control, sock with camel. Now I'm doing a voiceover because I forgot to switch the microphone on when I actually took this out of the box to show it to you. Um, it's got batteries in it don't know how old those batteries are um, the date on them we will see when I find it is 2021 on the batteries so they're at least um, two years old probably three years old because they wouldn't have been at the expiry date when I put them in the plane looks in perfect condition I have two of these that I bought from charity shops some time ago so check the video description there'll be a link to the playlist for them i have flown both of them i've only brought one of them down to test it today we're in very calm weather conditions at the moment so it would be ideal to take it out and fly it so that's my plan um we got spare propeller we got spare rudder it's one of those uh, rudders that's controlled with a little electromagnet and a neodymium magnet to give us left and right. And we've also got throttle control. Propellers held in place with a little uh, rubber band there so that it can fall off if it crashes into something. I do remember flying them. I don't remember how well they fly. Uh, so yeah, we will leave it there, charging. I didn't check those batteries to see how much charge they had in them, but clearly there's enough in there to charge, or at least put it into charging mode. So we'll come back later on and see whether it's charged up and see if the motor actually runs, but we won't be flying it today because it's uh, half past seven at night. And I want to drive somewhere where we've got plenty of space to fly it. So, with a bit of luck, we'll do that tomorrow, weather permitting. Right, charging lights have gone out. So that either means the batteries are flat, or it means it's finished charging. So switch that on. Not seeing any lights to indicate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing happened. Oh, I can hear a noise. Yeah, it's beeping. Yeah, it's beeping. Just there. Switch it off. And on again. Hmm. So we need to put the aerial in. Oh, that's going to be awkward to get out. Doesn't want to come out. Hang on. Yes, it did need the aerial in place.
top right. Oh yeah, I've got left as well. So when it's flying, just the airflow keeps the rudder straight. So, oh, that's a bit slow. It may be that the receiver or the transmitter is too close. Yeah, that's better. If I hold it away, we're not flooding it. And we do have proportional throttle. What a little beauty. Copyright 2009. I've had a look at my previous videos and so, so I've got two of them. One I think I bought four years ago and the other was about six or seven years ago. So I've had them a while. Anyway, that'll do. I'll box it back up again. And hopefully tomorrow we might give it a flight. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel. And down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.